After a couple of hours, we came to a hill. He sat down and signaled me to sit by him. He said that once upon a time there was a young man, a destitute Indian, who lived among the white men in the city. He had no home, no relatives, no friends. He had come to the city to find his fortune and found only misery and pain. From time to time, he made a few cents working like a mule, barely enough for a morsel. Otherwise, he had to beg or steal for food. Don Juan said that one day, the young man went to the marketplace. He walked up and down the street in a haze, his eyes wild upon seeing all the good things that were gathered there. He was so frantic that he did not see where he was walking and ended up tripping over some baskets and falling on top of an old man. The old man was carrying four enormous gourds and had just sat down to rest and eat. The old man found it quite strange that the young man had stumbled upon him. He was not angry at being disturbed, but amazed at why this particular young man had fallen on top of him. The young man, on the other hand, was angry and told him to get out of his way. He was not concerned at all about the ultimate reason for their meeting. He had not noticed that their paths had actually crossed. The old man's gourds had turned over and were rolling down the street. When the young man saw the gourds, he thought he had found his food for the day. He helped the old man up and insisted on helping him carry the heavy gourds. The old man told him he was on his way home in the mountains and the young man insisted on going with him. The old man took the road to the mountains and as he walked, he gave the young man part of the food he had bought at the market. The young man ate to his heart's content and when he was quite satisfied, he began to notice how heavy the gourds were and clutched them tightly. What do you carry in these gourds? The old man did not answer, but told him he was going to show him a friend who could alleviate his sorrows and give him advice and wisdom about the ways of the world. The old man waved his hands and summoned the most beautiful deer the young man had ever seen. The deer was so tame that it came up to him and walked around him. It glittered and shone. The young man was spellbound and knew right away it was a spirit deer. The old man told him that if he wished to have that friend and its wisdom, all he had to do was let go of the gourds. What do you have in these four enormous gourds? The old man serenely replied he was carrying food, pinoli, and water. The young man had not believed a word. He calculated that if the old man, who was obviously a wizard, was willing to give him a spirit deer for his gourds, then the gourds must have been filled with power beyond belief. The young man took his gourds and ran away to an isolated place and opened them. There was only food and water inside the gourds, and the young man, in a fit of anger, smashed them against the rocks. The young man was a fool and did not know what he was looking for. He did not know what power was, so he could not tell whether he had found it or not. He had not taken responsibility for his decision. Therefore, he was angered by his blunder. He expected to gain something and got nothing instead. Don Juan speculated that if I were the young man and if I followed my inclinations, I would have ended up angry and remorseful and would, no doubt, have spent the rest of my life feeling sorry for myself for what I had lost. Had he been aware of his decision and assumed responsibility for it, he would have taken the food and would have been more than satisfied with it. And perhaps he might have even realized that the food was power too.